I'm Paul Denny, an Associate Professor in the School of Computer Science at the University of Auckland. One of the things I'm really interested in is looking at the ways that students interact with digital learning tools. The goal of any education-focused research is to help students learn more effectively. When I first started teaching at the university, I was giving lectures in these very large lecture theatres with many hundreds of students. Uh, and that was very exciting, but I also realised quite quickly that there was only so much of my time that I could devote to any one student. I think online learning offers huge potential for students, for teachers and for researchers. So for students, of course, it provides great flexibility and convenience in when and how they study. For teachers, it provides the ability to deliver instruction at very high scale. And for researchers, the kinds of tools that students are using collect really rich interactions about what students are doing, and that, that data can be used to provide insights into the way that people learn. The key focus points of my research at the moment are crowdsourcing, uh, gamification, and producing personalized feedback. Crowdsourcing is a really interesting approach for generating content. We know that people remember information better when they take an active role in producing that information. An interesting question is, can we have students contributing learning resources to some repository such that that repository is a useful resource for their learning? The approach that gamification takes is to use these digital rewards to reward students for engaging in these behaviours that we know are beneficial. And that can actually translate to better learning outcomes for them. The quality of feedback is crucial to learning. In a subject like computer science, they're often using tools that produce a large quantity of feedback, but often it's hard for students to make sense of that. And so what we really need are tools that adapt to the needs of the learner and provide the kind of feedback um, that's actually useful to them. With programming error messages, even relatively modest rewordings of those error messages to make them more readable can have a really dramatic effect on the way that students can perform when they're trying to solve debugging tasks. POIs is a platform where students are creating and sharing practice questions for one another. Originally, I designed this for my own students in computer science, and what's been really exciting is to see this adopted globally in a range of subject areas. What we've seen recently with the whole coronavirus pandemic is that students are, of course, relying much more on these kind of tools that they can use to learn online. And so I think now more than ever, the effectiveness of these tools is, is really crucial. My hope is that lessons from my own research can be useful to others who are designing their own learning platforms and tools. And ultimately, this will lead to more effective tools and better learning outcomes for students. Thank you.